Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how you can take your Windows laptop or your Windows desktop and you can create a new user for that computer and you can even go in and delete the old user. That way all the updates for Windows are still installed and all the programs are still installed as long as they weren't specific to that one user. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to log into this Windows computer and I'm going to show you two different ways that you can do that. So give me just a second to log in and I'll show you exactly what steps you need to take. Okay, so I've logged in. So the first way that you can do it is you can go down here to the start button, click on it, and then you can click on settings, which looks like a little gear icon. Now once you click on that, it'll open up your settings window and then we'll be able to go into your accounts and add that new user account. So we click on accounts. And then over here on the left side, it says family and other users. So I'm going to click on that. And then I can add someone else to use this computer. So I'm going to click on that. You're going to be able to enter your information. You can put in your name or whoever's going to use the computer's name. And you can put in their password. So you can just call it like test. And then I'm just going to create a password for it. Now, the next thing is it wants you to create some security questions and security answers. Now, this is in case you forget your password, you can go and reset it. So I'm just going to make up some stuff. You have to do it for three different uh, security questions and answers. So I'm going to make up a couple of them just to show you. So uh, name of your first pet, uh, we're just going to call it pet. And then it, it wants to know um, name of the city where you were born. And you can just call it city. And then the last one, um, let's see. Uh, first name of your oldest cousin. So we'll just call it cousin. And then you can go and click next. Okay. Now, there's test. And it, it's a local account and it's been created. Now I can actually click on that. And I can change the account type. And instead of just a standard user, I can actually make it an administrator. Now, if this is going to be the only account on the computer, you definitely want to make that an administrator so that you can actually have it where that account can control the computer, install updates, install programs, make any changes that it needs to. But if that's just going to be somebody else that's going to be using it, you wouldn't need to make that person an administrator. Okay. So that's the first way that you can create an account. The second way is you can go down here to the start button and you can right click on it. And then you can go up to computer management. Now this will take a minute for computer management to open, but this is where you can make a lot of different changes for the computer. One of them being change the users and groups. So we're gonna go over here and we're gonna go to local users and groups and we're going to double click on users. And look, if you'll notice, there's our test that we just created. Now I can create another one just by clicking up here at the top, going to action, going to new user, and then I can just name it anything I want. I can call it user, and then I can create uh, the password right here. And look, right here, Instead of having the user must change the password at the next login, you can uncheck that and you can make it where the user cannot change the password and you can make it where the password never expires. Now this might be helpful if you want to use your same password over and over and over again to log into your computer. You never want to have to remember that. But sometimes every three to six months, you probably would want to change your password just to keep it secure. But that's totally up to you. I'm just letting you know how to keep it more secure. But if you don't want to do that, that's perfectly fine too. I know a lot of people who want to use the same password five years down the road. And that's okay too. It's just whatever your preference is. So just go ahead and create that password. Now it may require that we make it a certain complexity for the password. So if I click create and it requires it, 
No, it let me. Okay. So you can make it as basic or as complex as you want. Then you'll be good to go and you can just make it any password. And then you can just click close. And if you'll notice right here, I've got user and I've got test. And the one I just created was the user. So that's the two ways that you can go in there and you can create a new user account. And if you want to make sure that that new user that you created is part of the administrator group, you can go and right click, go to properties, and you can go to member of, and look right now it's not a part of the administrators, but if I go to add, I can just type in administrator. And there you go. I put in administrators and it added it to the administrators group and now I can click apply. So now that user who's called user can actually log in and that person is a part of the administrators so they can control the entire computer. And then once I log in, I could go back in here and I could right click on any of these other ones and I could just delete that user account. And you can also do the same thing if you go back into your control panel. So what we do is we close this, we close this, we click on start, and then we're going to go up here and click on the little picture of the person, and then we're going to go ahead and say sign out. And once we sign out, it's going to go back to the login screen, and I'm going to click that one user that I just created, and we're going to log in as that user. And now I'm going to select user and I'm going to put in that user's password. Now the very first time you log into an account, it may take it just a little bit in order for that account to be fully created. This is where it's setting up that account for you. But give it just a minute or two and it'll go right to the Windows desktop and you can start using it. Okay, when you're first setting it up, it might ask you all of these questions and you can just tell it to accept or you can read through and change any of those settings you don't want. So I'm just gonna click accept And then there's the desktop. So now I can just right click over here on the Windows icon as soon as it lets me and I can go back to that computer management and then I'll be able to go in and I'll be able to delete any user that I don't want to keep anymore. Now obviously you don't want to delete the one you're logged in as but you can delete any other user that you don't need. So you would go back to your local users and groups and go back to users and then there you go. I can right click on this test one and I can just tell it to delete and it wants to make sure, are you sure it's okay and just go ahead and click yes and then it's going to go ahead and that's fine. It's okay. Just click okay because it was basically telling you make sure that you have at least one administrator on the computer but you already do because the one we just created called user we made an administrator so you're good to go everything's done and that's how you would create a user and that's how you delete a user so I hope that was helpful on how you can create some user accounts and you can delete them on Windows 10 and it should also work for Windows 7 and Windows 11 so that you can add those new user accounts that you need and delete old ones that you don't need. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below in the comments. I'll be more than happy to get back to you about it. And as always, because you do such a great job, if you can, like and subscribe to the channel so I can keep putting up all this great content for you all. I appreciate you, and I hope you have a great day. And until next time, I'll see you then. Bye.